Hello, my friends. How are you doing? This is Nesto. Um, want to say thank you for tuning in. Sorry for not uploading a video in a while. Just had some family issues that we had to deal with. But we're, we're doing good. I um, hope everyone is doing good as well. Thank you for tuning in once again. I still have that giveaway and I want to show you before I even... I already got... Before I even continue, I already got a box that I was waiting on. With these awesome wheels, I'm throwing these two in there. One per person. Details of the giveaway will be happening soon. I know I'm going to let you know that requisites will be you to be a subscriber. To like every video you watch. And I'm going to require you to watch... A few videos leaving comments I'm gonna be more specific but after I let you know you have to watch some videos leave comments uh, and all that stuff I'll be more specific though anyway those wheels did I show you yeah I should did I show you those monoblock too Can't remember there's the Cri Criado and the monoblock. Those will be included in the giveaway with a few other cars that I've included. But I want to show you these customs though. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. This one was crumbed out and then I went ahead and designed these crazy decals. It's uh, still being worked on kind of wanted to test what they would look like but this is it damn that is that's all right yes that's the that's the first one I have a bunch to show you and I don't want to take forever. But yes, this was crumbed out and it was sent to me. Then I applied those decals, give it a wheel swap. You know, shaved a little bit the bottom so that it could be lowered and still roll. So I'll place it back there. Then I know I remember, I, I don't know if you guys remember me showing you these fleet or these series of customs that I wanted to start. And these two were the first ones, were the ones where it all started. A little bit of carbon fiber on the hood tribes on the top a little bit of a theme you know with the shark mouth on the side so we're gonna put those there then I said I am going to make that into a truck that would be sick and yes there it is I grabbed these awesome Silverado also has some carbon fiber stripes on the top this one I added some logos to go with it also some carbon fiber on the rear and a little touch it's kind of hard to focus there These are the top, you know, also shaved at the bottom and slammed it, gave it a little camber. I know trucks are not famous, especially these ones, but you know, they're not famous for camber, but I like to give that touch to almost everything. So anyway, there's that one. Then, th 
these ones that I'm going to show you are for some people. I'm not going to say who they're for. These are customs that people bought from me. And uh, check them out though. I don't really sell many customs because I don't like to work to specifications you could say because sometimes it's very hard. Sometimes people are very, very picky and if they see a little flaw they're like oh I don't want it. So I rather make my own stuff and if people want to buy it or, or type of thing you know then they want to buy it. But that's that. And that's if I am willing to sell because most of the time I am not and anyway. So check this one out though. I don't know if I showed you the front end of that one. Did I show you it? So I went ahead and grabbed another Sylvie. This one has slightly different wheels. A different grill. Also has uh, carbon fiber on the hood. Stripes on the top. Same thing as the other one, which is slight different details, slightly different. So we have those. Then there is this awesome gasser that I also went ahead. This is for someone, and I'm not gonna say names. Hopefully these people that will receive them get to make videos about them. But check this one out though. Man, I really like them. And I would love to keep them. But... Cutting that shape was kind of tricky. But the end result is dope. Also stripes. Short mouth, a little bit of detail on the front. Then I grabbed another gasser. Check this one out though. This one is slammed. As you can see, it has a matchbox checker cab base on. With a few alterations, it magically fits the gasser. I think I should make a video showing how I did that. But I first gotta find another checker cap. And then I'll show you how. What do you think? Which one would you ride? take both sad thing is that they are both going away man that hurts this is another one that will go to someone from Instagram <clears throat> another little truck this one is so dope You know that now that I'm making all these cars with these theme, I think I want to keep on making them, and maybe I will make enough of all of the cars that I like, just like my Herbie collection, which I will show you in a moment. This one, though. This next one is mine. It's not going anywhere. This is for me. I made it on a day that was very, very sad. And I wanted to keep my mind occupied on something. Um, so I started making this. And I actually put a lot of effort into it because I wanted it to be... Uh, not like a reminder, but... Uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Anyway, so I made this car, and this is mine. Hope you guys like it. Pam. 
This is my favorite. Cutting that shape though of the hood was the trickiest. Because I make the sheet, a big sheet of carbon, fi carbon fiber, and then I cut out the shapes that I need for the different parts, body parts, like fenders, panels. This one has a lot of detail. I really, really like how the rear turned out. It's got a nice rear. The exhaust was handmade. Oops. So you can see. Maybe the next one I make, I'll give it dual exhausts. Gave it my license plate. You know, since I'm in Michigan, I can kind of see it, but. That's a Michigan plate. A couple of white toner stickers or decals, personalized. And, you know, the wheels came from, uh, I think, one of those bluebirds that I've done before. Then I added the chrome, which I don't have the pen to show you fail once again but man check that out though I think that's one of my favorite ones this little fleet is crazy I'm proud of it anyway so this one that I'm gonna show you this one I ordered online it went on sale this day on, on pre-sale I missed it it sold out within 30 minutes I believe the pre-sale you would get like a little that's the one. <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. You have to go to the elist.com and they had these for sale for $23. I got this one and uh, I have another one right there. That one will be, I don't know, I may trade it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just wanted two. Some people got a lot. But anyway, I missed the pre-sale. But then they went for sale again a week later. And that day I was ready. And I was able to get two. But this time they did not come with a wooden sur surfboard or a decal sheet with a bunch of cool stickers. So I didn't get those. Which is okay. Because I still managed to get this awesome bus. And I will eventually make this shark mouth theme into one of these. That would be dope. Anyway, so I had this other bus. And I wanted to make my own fat lace. Because I felt pretty disappointed when I missed out the, the pre-sale. I thought I had missed out on the bus. I was like, no, I'm going to make my own now. And this one also was just a test. I was only testing the decals on on this piece. Because as you can see, it's raw. It has no paint. It has just been stripped. And it has no details. It's got the wheels, though been tapped and this one I don't know if I wanted to make a gray possibly maybe a black with the white stickers would look awesome I don't know so I just left it like that for now so anyway this is my fleet of customs which one is your favorite move this one because that's not a custom that one goes over there but yes which one would you take would you like me to make one of these 
or a couple of these for the giveaway. Do you guys like this theme? So I can do so, you know. And before the weather gets cold, because it's starting to get cold. Uh, anyway, more details about the giveaway will be coming on future videos. Just so you know, you gotta keep watching, gotta keep liking, and you gotta subscribe. Please. You know, if you wanna be part of this, of this giveaway, which I have. Here, I have all this stuff that I've been adding. And I will add more details because I just made some new designs that I would like to include. And I want to give a big shout, biggest shout huh, to my daughter for helping me make this awesome little display. <laughs> that was funny. But a big, big shout out to my friend Edgar Rivera. Uh, I don't know if I should have said it, whatever. <sighs> Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate this badass rack that I filled out pretty quickly with customs. I will show you these customs more in detail in another video. I'll just dedicate that. Maybe I'll show you those. And I finally cleaned out the room a little bit better. You guys can see there's room and I'll show you the whole room in more detail and I'll show you all these cars. And stay tuned because in my next video, I will show you these cars. But yes, what do you guys think? Thank you so much for watching, Edgar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He makes the best racks. As you can see, man, they're sturdy. They're high quality. Hit him up. He lives in California, Los Angeles area. So if you're local to him, that's even better because you can just pick it up. But yes, thank you so much, my friends, for watching. This is Nesto. Peace out.